hello friends uh, let us quickly see the specimen of the spinal cord uh, i am just telling about the features not much in detail uh, so this is the spi uh, specimen of the spinal cord after removing, removing it from the uh, vertebral canal so you can see uh, you can uh, know that it is a 45 cm long and extend from the uh, c1 vertebrae from the upper border of the posterior arch of the C1 to the lower border of the L1 vertebrae. It having a lower tapering end, this one you can see here, it having a lower tapering end which is known as the conus medullaris. So this part is known as the conus medullaris, you can see here, the lower tapering end of the spinal cord. This is the conus medullaris and uh, you can see here. It having a one anterior fissure with so this is the anterior median fissure you can see here anterior median fissure this is it and uh, just uh, within it there is a anterior spinal artery is there so this is the anterior surface of the spinal cord we can differentiate it by the anterior median fissure in this section you can also see the this one is the anterior median fissure and uh, Later to it there is anterolateral fissure but it is not mo much prominent anterolateral sulcus Later to it there is anterolateral sulcus here this one is the anterolateral sulcus and posteriorly we can see there are the posterior median sulcus this one is the posterior median sulcus and these two are the posterior lateral sulcus and in between two there is a intermediate sulcus posterior intermediate sulcus so in posterior side of the spinal cord three sulcus are there posterior median sulcus posterior lateral sulcus and posterior intermediate sulcus and in anterior side there is one fissure anterior median fissure and anterior lateral sulcus so this is the anterior surface of the spinal cord and uh, these are the spinal nerves you can see here Spinal nerves attaches it with it. These all are the spinal nerves, and uh, these are the dura mater which cover the spinal cord. You can see it, dura mater, which cover the spinal cord. And uh, uh, in this specimen, we we are able to see. We can see the extension of the parameter here. You can see this one. Is the extension of the prior matter from the conus medullaris this is known as the phylum terminale so this is the phylum terminale from the conus medullaris extension of the parameter extension of the parameter conus medullaris uh, you can differentiate uh, it from the uh, spinal nerves by its appearance it is whitish in color and it contains blood vessels in it also and extend from the conus medullaris so this is the phylum terminale and you can see the bunch of the nerves here at the lower part of the spinal cord this bunch of the nerves it looks like a horse tail it is known as the uh, quadra equina and this quadra equina it is formed by the uh, spinal nerves below l1 which means it is formed by the l2 l3 l4 and L5 spinal nerves and all the sacral nerves S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 and one coccygeal nerves. This, uh, this, all these nerves they form the uh, quadra equina. So quadra equina, this one is the phylum terminale from the conus medullaris. And another extension you may be asked during the uh, viva is the ligamentum denticulata you can see this one is the spinal nerve and anterior to it you can see this small projection teeth like projection this extension is known as the ligamentum denticulata teeth like extension of the parameter from the lateral side of the spinal cord and uh, it divides the uh, ventral and the dorsal root of the spinal nerves so you can see here these are the ligamentum denticulata extension of parameter total 21 pairs are there 
on each side and the lowermost extension is also known as the fork so this may be asked during your viva what is this so this is a this is the ligamentum denticulatum and so this is the spinal cord thank you